since you guys have heard from me I only posted one video <laughs> and then I kind of disappeared um the last video I posted I had mentioned plans I had to uh sew and make stuff in March which didn't happen um I'm sure you guys can understand sometimes life gets in the way and that's basically what happened here so life got in the way um had a few family issues to deal with so I wasn't able to make very much in March but I did end up sewing in April and May and it is May 30th today that I'm recording this video so um, yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I've made in April and May all right stay tuned alrighty so here we go this is the chip moto style jacket from Seamwork I really like this jacket so the pattern was fairly easy only thing is you have to pay attention um when you're sewing these front pieces you kind of sew them opposite and that's what allows it to close oops like this so i didn't realize what that when i was sewing my muslin so it was all messed up but i figured it out for the final fit so i guess that's all that matters um other thing is the jacket is supposed to have um snaps There's supposed to be snaps here um i did purchase the snaps but I couldn't, like, there's a little tool you have to use to, like, hammer the snaps in and stuff like that. The tool that I found was way too short. I was just hurting my fingers and the snaps weren't um, attaching. So I kind of gave up on it. Um, for future, I'll probably look for something, um, a better tool to use, a bigger tool to use, so that I'm not, you know, basically hitting my fingers when I'm trying to hammer it in or whatever the case may be. Um, so, yeah, I had to skip the snaps unfortunately but it was relatively easy to sew and it fits well don't remember what size I'm I made it in I believe it was like a two I'll post it somewhere in the video when I'm editing um but yeah this is it it's really lightweight too heavy for this time of year but it is pretty lightweight I made it out of a black ponty material pont ponty I don't know how you pronounce that so don't laugh at me um something to that effect Pont, Ponty, I don't know. You tell me. Alrighty. So, that's that. Alright, you guys, so up next, I made this little circle skirt here. Um, this is not from a commercial pattern. I actually drafted this myself from scratch. Really proud of myself. Like I said, um, in the future, I'm looking to have a clothing line and to make clothes for other people, um, whether it's custom-made um, items or whatever. So um drafting items from scratch for myself is really important uh for me to be able to relearn you know certain things that i learned way back when i went to school which i mentioned in my first video if you want to take a look at that um it's really important for me to make stuff from scratch like patterns are good it helps you get familiar with patterns and how they work together and how things look when they're not put together and they're in pattern pieces um but drafting from scratch is also obviously really good so anyways without me rambling on <laughs> here's a circle skirt that I made very simple circle skirt I had leftover pont or ponty material whatever you want to call it and so I just drafted this little skirty skirt hopefully you guys can see I'm on my very top of my tippy toes maybe I should just angle the camera down let me change the angle just a little bit okay there we go that's better so yeah this is the circle skirt very easy to make um don't remember the length that I made it in but kind of got a big butt and so I couldn't make a hem like it's right underneath there so if I would have made a hem I'd probably be exposing myself so kind of just had to let it be um but I love it like I said I don't normally wear skirts but this I really like I really really like this um I think I'm gonna probably buy some more sim similar material um oh. Let me just, sorry guys. Still no good. Okay. So I think um, what I want to do since it's summertime 
and you'd probably buy some more similar material um, in different colors and make myself another skirt or two, right? I think it'd be really cute. Oh, yeah, it looks good on me considering I never wear skirts. I'm always in shorts or pants. But this, I love. Um, yeah, that's it for this. All right, so the next piece I have to show you is another self-drafted item. Um, it's probably my favorite out of all the things that I've made. Um, just because the material is so pretty and it was so easy to make. Um, I drafted it from scratch, didn't take me very long. I just kind of used some very basic um, shapes to create uh, what I call, I guess, a duster robe. So anyways, let me just get it and show you. One second, peoples. All right, so it's this piece right here. Oh, I need to angle the camera again. So it's this piece right here I used, or I used basic measurements and shapes to make a little duster robe for myself. Um, this material was on sale downtown Toronto, and it's very different from material I would normally buy, but like it's just so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. It's just so pretty. So I bought some, not really knowing what I was going to make with it. Um, I had no idea what I was going to make with it. But I was just so in love with the material. And so yeah. Um, you can literally just throw one of these on and that's your outfit. Like, you're going from basic white tee and jeans. Throw this on and spice up your outfit a little bit. Just add a bit of color, a bit of personality whatever right it makes it easy um and you're good to go i think you know i mean i'm wearing jeans right now if i had a little pair of booty shorts or something <laughs> i think that'd be really cute but yeah this is probably my favorite out of everything i've made i love it and i'm so happy with it all right and so time for the next garment you okay, guys so now the next item is this top that i made it is a peplum top. It was very easy to make. Um, I drafted this from scratch. Some simple shapes, some simple techniques, um, a little ruffle at the bottom. I'm planning, the reason why I wanted to make this top, I want to make a skirt with a ruffle, um, diagonal ruffle. So I thought that this would be really good practice. And I think it turned out really nicely. And I like the color and I think it'll be cute for the season. Let's see full tour here anyways tell me what you think about this top down below i think it's cute like i said i switched into the black jeans i just feel like it looked a lot better with the black jeans and the ripped up blue jeans and i think it's cute and i think i'm gonna wear this at some point in the summer out and about don't know where because everything's closed Don't know where I'll wear this because everything is closed, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. We're starting to open up a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so all right, you guys, so I'm back. This is the final piece that I made. Um, like I said, I was initially gonna make them into pants, but I didn't get to sew in March. I made them in April and decided to just make the shorts. Um, I feel like they fit kind of funny. Like I feel like in some spots they're too tight. And in others, they're too loose. Um, this is a, move it down a bit. So this is a size, what is it? This is a size two, sorry. Initially I made a size six, which was too big. So then I went down to this two. So then now I'm thinking maybe I should make the four because it's kind of pulling here as if it's tight. But then the crotch area just seems so loose and too low. Um, I did find a video on how to fix that. Like I found a few videos on how to fix the crotch area if it's not fitting right. I tried to do what it suggested, but it just didn't work out for me. So I ripped out the stitches and I just decided to leave it as such. So you guys, this is just a muslin. <clears throat> I haven't made it out of the material that I was planning to make it out of. And the shorts, they don't look as... Supposed to be paper bag at the top and they don't really look paper bag right now 
don't know why that is we did the other day i don't know anyways um you guys give me your opinion tell me down below should i make this in my material that i had planned or should i try to fix it if i fix it how do i fix it if you know because i don't know um let me know should i fix it sorry i got distracted <laughs> should i fix it or should i scrap it or should i just make it as is in the material that i had planned um so yeah so just let me know do you think i should leave it at this size and just fix the crotch do you think i should size up and fix the crotch because i'm assuming you know sizing up is going to make the crotch even more big uh or low or i don't know how to explain it um if you have any suggestions on how to fix the crotch let me know if there's a video link or a blog or something <laughs> let me know what i tried it didn't work i found a video on youtube and it just didn't work to do what i wanted it to do um let me know i think i said this already <laughs> If it fits, if you think it fits okay, like take a look at this and let me know what do you guys think. Size up, stay the same size, fix the crotch, leave the crotch. Am I exaggerating? Should I just make it as is in the material that I had planned to make it out of? I don't know. You guys let me know. Okay. All right. All right, you guys, so that's it for today in terms of the stuff that I made in um, April and May. Let me know down below what you think of them, what you like, what you don't like, especially those shorts at the end. I'm really like iffy about it and I don't want to cut out my beautiful material to make them just to be unhappy with them. So I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe they don't fit as bad as I think, but I feel like the fit is not good. I feel like I could maybe size up, which would like I said, caused me to have to fix the crotch. But let me know what you think about the jacket, the robe, the top that I made, the skirt that I made. Um, leave your comments down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I look forward to making some other stuff in June to share with you guys. I promise you guys my next video won't be so far behind this one as, you know, how far this one was from the last video I posted. I already have some video ideas lined up. I'm going to record another video actually probably sometime this week so look out for that um and i just wanted to take this opportunity again to thank you guys so much for tuning in it really does mean a lot to me um it's not easy making a decision to start over to start a business stuff like that it's not easy you get a lot of criticism a lot of people questioning you know why you want to do that you know um as i stated in my last video i went to school for accounting and finance um well i went to school first for fashion design and then you know, years later for um, accounting and finance and I was miserable. So when my contract ended at my last job, I decided not to return to accounting and finance, which has my family like, you know, why would you do that? But that's just not where my heart is. And it was actually making me really sad and depressed. Like I was just so very unhappy. So starting over, I'm not like in my 20s. You know what I mean? Don't want to give away my age, but I am in my 30s. So starting over at this point, a lot of people question it. And I think it's just something in society that tells us that, you know, at a certain age, you should have your education done. You should know what your career is. You should be on the right path. And, you know, all of this crap that they feed you. Like, you don't have to subscribe to any of that, okay? You don't have to subscribe to any of that. Subscribe to whatever makes you happy and this channel. But subscribe to whatever makes you happy. That wasn't making me happy. So I'm starting over again on this journey to do something that does make me happy and to make a life that I've always dreamed of and a life that I'm proud of and a life that I'm happy to wake up to and I'm happy to roll out of bed and do what I do as opposed to waking up out of bed and dreading every day because I'm going to do work that I don't enjoy doing at a place that I don't enjoy being at, you know, toxic, you know, work environment and stuff like that. So anyways, I don't want to ramble on and on. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching me and joining me on this journey. It really does mean a lot to me and I hope to see you again in my next video. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.